My MOOF University YouTube videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. If you'd like to pay for the use of the videos, visit my website at moofuniversity.com, click on the pay-what-you-like link at the top of the page, and follow the instructions on that page. Thank you, and enjoy. So in this video, I kind of want to just like summarize the stoichiometry of palmitase synthesis. So the first thing that we did was we took an acetyl-CoA and a malonyl-CoA, brought them together to make our four-carbon molecule, and that, of course, was one round of the um, of fatty acid synthesis or beta reduction. And uh, once we had that four carbon molecule, we had to add another two carbon unit until to make the six carbon unit. And that, of course, also had uh, the four steps as well. So each one of these arrows indicates um, a round of, uh, of fatty acid synthesis or beta reduction. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds before we create a 16 carbon molecule, promotate. So that's seven rounds of the four steps. Now, of course, the four steps are listed here, condensation, first reduction, dehydration, second reduction. Each condensation reaction required one malonyl-CoA, and it would release one carbon dioxide. Now, because this happened seven times, we're going to multiply all this stuff by seven to find out what we used and what we made. So we used a malonyl CoA because that was required, and one of them in each each condensation step. So seven condensation steps total means we used seven malonyl CoAs. We released one carbon dioxide each of those times, so that means seven carbon dioxides should be released. Now the first reduction used one NADPH, and that of course would be turned into NADP plus, and that of course happened seven times. So we'd have seven NADPHs used in that first reduction and seven NADP pluses resulting from that. Dehydration, that releases or creates um, one water. That doesn't actually use anything up, right? It takes the H and the OH from the molecule, from the beta hydroxyacyl co uh, beta hydroxyacyl ACP. And so nothing else is used, um, but seven waters are created in seven rounds. And in the second reduction, as far as um, what it uses, what it creates, it's identical to the first reduction. So we have NADPH is there, and then NADP plus here. So 7 and 7, just like it was for the first reduction. So, what's the overall uh, stoichiometry? So at first, remember, the only one acetyl-CoA, only one of the two carbon additions, actually comes from acetyl-CoA. So we have one acetyl-CoA, right? The rest come from malonyl-CoA, and we use 7 of those. We also used 14 NADPHs. What did we get? In the products, well, we got a palmitate, seven carbon dioxides, 14 NADP pluses, seven waters, and all of the coenzyme A's, all the coenzyme A's um, were, were knocked off, right? So there was one on the acetyl-CoA and then seven on the malonyl-CoA's, so that's eight coenzyme A's. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. But wait, wasn't there energy used? And yeah, there was. There was hidden right there. Yep. There was energy used. Where was it used? Well, in in making the malonyl CoA from acetyl CoA, right? The activation step. Right? Each malonyl that we made, each malonyl CoA that we made came from an acetyl CoA and that required one ATP each time. And so since we had seven malonyl CoAs, those must have come from seven acetyl CoAs. So that was seven acetyl CoAs and there's a carboxylation reaction, right? Acetyl CoA carboxylase. And that required seven ATPs to make seven malonyl CoAs and then the ADPs and the phosphates. So now we can cancel anything out that was on the left side and the right side. So these carbon dioxides here are on both sides. These malonyl CoAs are on both sides. And I think that's it, right? So what do we end up with? The overall stoichiometry is that we had one plus seven acetyl CoA, so eight acetyl CoAs, and then we had 14 NADPHs and seven ATPs used to create one palmitate, eight coenzyme A's, 14 NADP pluses, seven waters, and seven ADPs and seven inorganic phosphates. So now, bear in mind that this only includes the, um, as far as this energy, I'm gonna put a little star here, this only includes the amount of energy that was used to activate the mal uh the acetyl coas to malonyl coa this doesn't include the um 
anything that, that comes before it. So this only includes the activation of the acetyl-CoA to malonyl-CoA and the actual reactions of uh, beta reduction or fatty acid synthesis. This does not include the energy used to transport the acetyl-CoAs from the mitochondria to the cytosol. And there's energy used there, as well as NADH used in that process. So, but this is just for everything starting from uh, the activation of acetyl-CoAs. Hope that video was helpful to kind of understand the stoichiometry of palmitase synthesis. Thanks for watching.